Hello. Sometimes it takes longer. I think I'm live and then I'm not live. So, hi, welcome. Thanks for being here. If you're watching the replay, make sure to give this a like. Thank you for being here. And I'm just going to be making some snacks for the kids and lunches. Um, yeah, that's about all I'm going to do. We don't really, we're kind of El Broco right now. So we can't really go out and get supplies for the kids lunches. But I got plenty on hand to make it. So we're going to be making popcorn. We're going to make some granola bars with the oats I have, and then I have some pudding. We're gonna make some of that. I'll give it a try. Where's the? Hold on. I had it. Oh, it's right. <laughs> and then I have their little cups here that I'm gonna like pour the puddings in and stuff. Um, this is the only one I could find on Gideon's. I don't know where the other two are. It's probably in his backpack, but that's okay. So I figured we could just pour some pudding in here. I need to get like some of those half cup or whole cup, like just these by itself, so I can make a bunch and have them stocked up. But we'll work on that, right? Do what you can when you can for what you can, 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 can. Hey, everybody, look, there's people. Hi, Angela. Hello. How are you? Yes, happy Valentine's Day. We call it Hearts and Love Day. Julian, hello. Erin, hi. Happy Valentine's Day. Ruffles, hello. Hope everybody's having a good day. Oh, I'm also going to use powdered milk for the pudding because I'm running kind of low on regular milk plus this is best buy 421 so we want to get this used up um and i powdered milk works really good for um like not drinking anything that like like that so i think the the pudding will be fine i also have a recipe here for homemade pudding mix that i'm gonna try i think i'm gonna do like a snack video or something where I try and work on snacks that's what this lives i'm gonna do with this live but um it's cooking one, so you got to cook that pudding. This one's an instant one, so that'll be nice. Hey, Pink. So thank you for being here. Um, what shall we make first? Let's do, let's see, I need a pan for the granola bars. Ouch. I pinched my back. Ouch. All right. A pan. I got too much, too much shiz in the, in the way. All right. Well, let's just do the pudding first. We'll get it out of the way. Hey, Kelly. Oh, two Kellys in the group. Hey, Kelly. See, Ian, Chloe, and Sophie's also a Kelly. Welcome. All right, so powdered milk. Instructions. Half of it's in Spanish. No hablo espanol. No. No read espanol. But it should have direction. Why does it not say this? It should say it, right? Ingredients. No instructions. Oh, per half a cup. So maybe, I think it's half a cup of powdered milk for a cup of of water. Does that sound correct? Hey, Laura, welcome. Rosemary, hello. Is this your first live? I don't think I've seen you before. Welcome. Have you met what I'd say? It's a day for us to love everybody. I'm pretty sure it's a quarter of a cup um, for powdered milk, even though it doesn't say. I'm pretty sure. Someone... Someone, my first live with you. Well, welcome. I'm so glad you can make it. I'm a little crazy right now, but we'll get there. I'm just trying to find my bearings, making some milk. Oh, this is a third cup. Where's my quarter cup? Where's my R2D2? Oh, he's got half a cup. That's right, we'll do half a cup. All right. I'm not wearing pants, so hopefully I won't show you my bottom area. Y'all no, don't want to see that. Well, maybe you do, but this ain't the right channel for that, you know what I'm saying? I figured I would use my emulsion blender to do that. I think that'll be nice and work out. So let's add three cups of water. I'm making three cups of milk, because I think that's how much it takes for this one pudding packet. I'm feeling much better. I was a little sick yesterday, so I got lots of sleep. So I'm fairly feeling energetic this morning, afternoon. You couldn't tell. All right, let's see if this works. Ah. 
Because I already connect. Release. Ugh, this thing's so hard to get off sometimes. There we go. Ah! What was that, just a couple of seconds? Do you want to some milk? Smells like milk. Smells like milk. The milk smells like milk. Oh, Kathleen, hello. One cup of water per quarter cup of one cup of water per quarter cup of powdered milk. Thank you, Kelly. Oh, coffee time. I have two cups today. Got my coffee cup and I got my water cup. This is water, I know. It could be vodka or it could be rum. You really don't know. You gotta take my word on it. I'm not making a face though. Hold it up so we can read it. What the powdered milk you can read? You can read Spanish and they're not person. And then I also have my coffee. Uh, Lisa, hello, welcome. I'm glad I'm feeling better too. <sighs> hello with Mora, is that your name? Your personality is so relatable. I thoroughly enjoy watching your videos. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I think I'm kind of weird, so I'm glad I'm relatable to some. Some people don't get me, but I've been called weird my whole life, so. All right, so we have instant pudding and pie mix. Gradually stir contents. Contents. I should have done. Gradually stir contents into three cups of cold milk. Mix for two minutes with a wire whisk. I don't need to tell you. You guys know how to make pudding. Like, okay, yeah, we know, Carolina. See, just something we don't know already, like where my knives are or scissors, anything. The kitchen's been a mess. <laughs> have you seen? Um, I was thinking about doing a show where they're like, I'm a content creator. And then they do like something that's like ridiculous. <laughs> I was thinking about doing that. But I was gonna be like, I'm a content creator where half my, my workspace looks clean and then switch it around, but the rest of my kitchen's a mess. <laughs> I thought that'd be funny. Oh boy. You know, something like that, like, I'm a content creator. I say I eat this for breakfast, but really I eat nothing but coffee or something. I don't know. I don't know. I gotta work on it. You know, I gotta come up with some ideas. I try and be creative. It's hard gig, you guys, hard gig. Thanks for listening to my rambles, though. I learned a lot of Spanish on Sesame Street. Hey, good job. Sesame Street. I don't, I don't feel like, I feel like Sesame Street isn't as popular nowadays. Look, none on the bottom, so that, where that worked, great. Oh, this chocolate pudding smells so good. I feel like I could just eat it without the milk. Spoonfuls of pudding. Is that like the cinnamon challenge? A spoonful of pudding challenge. A spoonful of pudding helps the powdered milk go down. The powdered milk go down. Powdered milk go down. Mix it with some pudding and you'll get it to go down. It still looks kind of clumpy. Is it clumpy? Just keep whisking! Whisk power! Just keep whisking, just keep whisking. She's getting thick. Baby, you thick. <laughs> <You're> so weird. <laughs> ah, crack myself up with my weirdness sometimes. All right. So, whisk it in. Let's pour it into our containers here. Hopefully, Gideon will like the chocolate. He's usually a vanilla guy. My one vanilla. Everybody else is chocolate. I'm Gideon. So funny, you've got that one that's always a little different. You know, I try and do what they like. Yeah, yeah. One cup too much pudding? Nah. That'll be fine. Oh, I got extra. I got extra. The extra pudding. If you liked it, then you should have put some pudding in it. Oh, I saw a clump there. There you go. So that made roughly four cups of pudding. So got, it was probably an old pudding mix, you know. Mm. All right. Let's close these up. Well, how many kids will have fresh pudding for their lunches tomorrow? This right lid. This right lid. I don't know. Boom. 
Boom shaka waka. Wow. What's Bluey say? That's uh, difficult. That was difficult. So we can put up our powdered milk, get these dirty bits off the sink, bring my trash can over. All right, what should we do next? Popcorn or granola bars? Oh, I'm me too, internet person now, learning more from where I live in my hubby. I would love a sp Spanish speaking hubby. My almost two year old is obsessed with Sesame Street. Do the content creative bit, that'd be hilarious. Okay, I'll do that. I can just think of something ridiculous, you know, like, cause I usually do, I have my my area clean here. And then, not over there, we're like, I'm a content creator. I say my area's clean, but it's not. Oh, hey, Katie. If anyone can pull off, you can with the content creator. Well, thank you. Oh, is it still staticky? Hey, Missy, how are you? Happy Valentine's Day. I'm Hispanic and can't speak a word of Spanish, let alone read it. Okay, good. Uh, let's see, I, I lived in Tucson for a little bit, but like I was, I lived in Saudi Arabia till I was 11 and now I can't speak. I know a little bit of Arabic, but I wish I would have learned it more while I was there. You know, I was young. So it was like, whatever, but I wish I would have absorbed that a little more, you know, but because it's nice to be able to, um, Oh, I could have done the immersion blender in there. Dang it. Do an expectation versus reality one. Ooh, that's good. Still staticky. All right, let me switch internet, see if that helps. All right, do you still see me? Let me know. Uh, let's see, are the kids excited for Valentine's Day at school? They are. They don't really know what to expect. Uh, <laughs> but I think they're gonna have a good time. They're gonna be decorating Valentine's Day boxes there. And then we got um, Valentine's Day for them, Valentine's to bring to class to give to everybody. This is butter flavor coconut oil. One of my subscribers sent this to me because he saw that we made popcorn for the kids. And this is the best way to make it. Coconut butter or butter flavored coconut oil and then flavicol. He sent this too. Or better tasting popcorn. Apparently, this makes the perfect theater popcorn, and it's pretty darn good. So this is strictly our popcorn, um, coconut oil, which is great because I use coconut oil for it too. Or sometimes I use bacon grease because why not? All right, that we got. I almost put the see that? I almost put the chocolate chips in the popcorn maker. Jen, is the static any better? Let's pretend she froze. You're so mean. No hope. It's the microphone. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Is it super bad? Uh, Tony says, hello from Indiana. I love your channel and your humor. Make my day. I'm so glad. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So sweet when they bring home Mama Valentine's stuff. It is. All right. I'll just eyeball it. There's some four color kernels. Pop. Put the lid on there. I even clean my popcorn maker for you guys. I mean, my perfectly always clean popcorn maker here. Ah, I don't know, simple things like that. I just love it. Sounds like the mic to you also. Oh no, this is my phone. My phone better not be damaged. Oh, hey, Crystal. Okay, good. Thank you, not too bad. Hey, Denise, hello, you're a great mom. Keep doing you and stay blessed. Oh, thank you so much. Is this your first live? Welcome, love the first livers. Well, and the repeat livers, I mean, hello, welcome to. Belinda, hello. Does the coconut oil slash baking grease leave a taste, leave a taste to the popcorn of it? Like it coats the popcorn, so like as it pops, it gets coated in that. So you do get a bit of the taste of whatever oil you're using to pop the corn in. <laughs> Rachel, hello from Ontario, Canada. Hi, thanks for being here. Is this your first live too? Whoop, whoop, got a bunch of new livers. You guys like the afternoon ones? This will be, uh, I 
think I'm going to do two lives, one on Saturday night and then one Wednesday afternoon-ish. Because there's no children. Ah. It's probably mismatched sound settings between your phone and YouTube. Okay. Try cleaning out the mic part of the phone. Might have some lint in it. Oh, that's a good idea. Where is the mic part? I don't know. You really don't want to hear me blowing into my phone right now, though. So I'll save that for later, Pink. But thank you for that tip. Movie theaters use coconut oil. I didn't know that. All right, so I'm just following a recipe for this one. I just look shit up. Uh, sorry, excuse my language. I just look stuff up online and then uh, go from there and give it a try. I have a lot of this peanut butter I got from the food. It's like it's not jiffy, that's for sure. But I think it would be good with things. You know what I'm saying? So, it smells, it smells like peanut butter. Let me get a spoon. Oh, I gotta see spoon in here. I mean, it's not bad. Hey, peanut butter. It's not like super creamy, you know? Cool. No, but don't tend to comment. Watch your videos. Watch your lives and videos all the time. Well, thank you, Rachel. That's that's helpful. I appreciate you watching. I do love it when you comment, though. I love talking to you guys. My daughter would love the bacon on one. She thinks bacon should be its own food group. I like your daughter. You should keep it. I agree with that. I like the midday during the week. I work from home and can have the live playing while I'm, while I'm working. Oh, good. Not as easy as night. Yeah, nighttime gets a little busy with the children's and everything. Well, perfect. I mean, we got 60 people watching. 68 now. Thank you so much, guys. You know, I remember my very first live. I had four people watching, and I was so excited. Like, ah, there's four people here. I don't know. It's just, it's crazy. People take time out of their day to come see you, you know? Hey, Jamie. At school pickup line for the first time. Picking up your kids. Nice. I guess we got to pick the kids up every once in a while. Very much. Ugh. I, have, I don't have anything. Right, I got one cup there. All right, this says two cups of rolled oats. I had these sit on the counter, so I'm glad to be using them. Do you think I should double this? Let's see, it's, it says it makes eight bars. I should probably double this. And you're supposed to put it in like an eight by eight, and I have a nine by 13. It's getting corny up in here. No, no. Okay. We like watching you and your family. I appreciate that, Kelly. I appreciate that. All right, let's double this. I got a good life, you know, and I'm happy to share it with you guys. I'm glad that you guys like me. Well, most of you like me. Some watched me to hate me, which I don't get. Who watches people to hate on them? I don't know. Who takes time out of their day to watch something they don't like? I don't get it. Wednesdays are my great day off. Great time for a live. Good, Julian. Happy day off. Had the clock back in on the phone. Okay. This is the second live I've been able to catch. Love your channel. You and your family are wonderful. Linda, thank you so much. Bacon is the candy of meat. Is what she said. Jen, that's funny. All right. Let's see. Do I have a popcorn bowl ready? No, I'll just flip the lid upside down. I think it's done, though. Do the flip. Oh. Flip it real good. All right, let's add our... You got to add it as soon as it's done when all that oil is still Ooh, liquidy. Give it a couple shakes. Can you guys shake like this? I learned how to do this from fries at work. Put them in the bowl. That's like best for me getting out of the line. I no longer eat unlimited fries. So it's four different kernels. They, they come out little different colors. I mean, I really just see the two, like you see. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. All right, so we'll let this kind of come to room temperature, cool down a bit, and then we'll put it in baggies. Pudding done, popcorn done. It's good. Let's put our stuff up. I'm trying to get in the habit of putting stuff away as I use it. Bleh. Clean as you go, all that nonsense. And then I got 
coffee. Jen, thank you for the cup. By the way, you're so good to me. Melissa, hello. Hi, Mama Baird. Love your videos. I'm in the hospital, so I really appreciate them now. Oh, what are you in the hospital for? Right, some people are just so odd. They really are. Do you have better things to do in your, with your life? I want some popcorn. Oh, it's so good. I love this, um, this popcorn maker, too. I got it for like three bucks at Goodwill. I haven't been to Goodwill in a while. Crystal, you can't have popcorn? I'm sorry. I like it, but it just gets stuck. To me, it's not worth eating because the kernels just get stuck in my teeth, you know? I'm stuck from lunch, and now my food smells like... It smells disgusting. Well, what is it? It does taste like... It does taste a little bit... I don't know. It's nothing like that liquid butter. Just got to pour that butter. He said that's coconut oil that they use on there. Like the pump. My dad, they would always be like, do you want butter? He'd be like, too much, please. <laughs> So I get a lot of humor, uh, humor from my dad. He's pretty funny. Oh my gosh, Melissa, I'm not going to try and say that word, but hopefully that's not serious and that you're you're doing okay from that. That popcorn makes a stir daddy, but good popcorn makers. Uh, this is a stir crazy is the technical term, but stir daddy. That sounds intense. People are crazy, pay no mind to those type yeah. That's all you can do. And just give them a show. Put on a show, right? But like I said, you can't handle the audience. Don't put on a show. So, I've been booed before, you know. All right, so this takes a third a cup of maple syrup is what it calls for. But I have honey. So I'm going to use honey. When I first moved here, we're working on our fourth year here now. There is somebody, we are still living in our hotel. And they are selling local honey in a five-gallon bucket. It was like $200. And I'm like, that is a steal. I felt like that was a steal. Maybe it wasn't that much. Maybe it was like $100. I don't remember the exact price. But I remember it being a steal. And I still have like half of it left. So I got lots of honey in my life. And I'm not just talking about my husband. <laughs> no. Okay. I think it's funny. I laugh at my own jokes. All right. So two-thirds of a cup. Oh, I had my one cup here. Let's spray this. Spray your, your doohickey. And then I'm just going to put it in there. Everybody watch my video about cross-contamination. Let's cross-contaminate the honey. <laughs> I thought that was good. I've been wanting to do that video a while. Um, on like botulism and stuff. I just, I get lots of comments about people worried for me about catching botulism because of the things that I put in my mouth, which I understand. <laughs> I am a bit more risky, you know, when it comes to the food. All right, so there's two thirds cup of that. What about peanut butter? It says three quarters of a cup of peanut butter. Um, you know, oh, oh, hang on the side. But there's a lot of people, you know, who don't know the difference and who think that you can catch anything just by having anything. So I thought that was important to talk about. It's super important to talk about. All right. I'm not measuring the peanut butter. Now they want you to melt this in Chef Mike. We'll just do. What is this? Probably two cups here. So almost a whole thing of peanut butter. I'll just plop some on top. And I want to think I might add some vanilla to this too. You guys make homemade granola bars. There's the bake ones. There's the no bake. These are supposed to be no bake. So we'll see how that goes. So I need to leave about half a cup of peanut butter. Well, I did not get a big enough. <laughs> what a surprise. I didn't get a big enough bowl. But this is a good way, well, you know, if you got lots of peanut butter to use up, especially ones that aren't the best for like peanut butter and jellies, you know? You think if I throw this in the microwave, it'll overflow when it melts? I think it will. <laughs> I better teach it. I don't want to clean up my microwave mess, so. Let's switch this out. Is this bowl any better? I don't know. You thought I was going to do it, didn't you? Didn't you? 
didn't you? All right. Come on, honey. Get on one out of there. All right, I'm gonna throw this in Chef Mike for a minute. And then we'll give it a check. It also calls for a little bit of salt. Quarter teaspoon. So just do some sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. All right, all right. Stir Daddy will be its name now. You should not be known as Stir Daddy. I'm fine with that. You rock and awesome. Oh, Crystal, you're so good to me. Thank you. I need an IV of coffee today. I feel ya. It's like half I'm, I need water because I was sick yesterday and just, you know, you don't do anything when you're sick. You don't drink or anything. So. Hydrate and caffeinate. It was a great video. Lots of good information. Thank you, Pink. I appreciate that. Oh my gosh, you can get botulism eating raw carrots. I mean... I guess that's true. I guess that's true. But botulism is just, can you still hear me? Botulism is just really rare. Like, so rare. Like, when I was researching it, because people, you know, botulism when I first hear about it. When it first started, I was like, oh, man, that sounds awful. And then I'm like, oh, it just it's not even that big of a deal. I don't know. Did you like the, you could possibly get sick or die. Game over. Editing Carolina, I'm telling you, she was on her game. So hopefully that does well. It's my first really informative kind of educational video. That I just got tired of people telling me I'm gonna die of botulism, you know? <laughs> Be like, you know how rare it really is? Ooh, content. All right, stirring it. That worked pretty good. I'm glad I got the bigger, bigger bowl because then I can I stir it too. That was a, that was a close one. All right, I'm also gonna add a little bit of vanilla in this. Wow, or a lot of bit of vanilla. That's okay. A little vanilla never hurt anybody, but a lot can make you drunk. Ooh, it kind of made a texture in the peanut butter there. All right. Making granola bars. All right, let's fold and fold. And these were old fashioned oats. They wanted the old fashioned oats, not the quick oats. So that's good. A lot of people get those in their food bank halls. I'm sure you could use like different types of sweetener too if you don't have honey or you don't want to use that much honey. Like this called for maple syrup. All right, and then let's add some chocolate chips in here. Ah, such a mess. I'm not the only person who's a mess, right? Right? Make me feel better, guys. Okay. We had a good day off yesterday, though. Husband took the day off for his birthday. He turned 34 years old, feeling like an old man. And then all the kids ended up staying home too because everybody was sick. So, like we had coughs, we had fevers back and forth, but everybody was nice and better today. Still a little bit of coughing, but they say they have that everywhere in the school. So, I really like the school system. Like they're emailing me stuff. We had an incident with Conrad the other day and the teacher emailed me and told me about it just like with Gideon emailed me and told me about well they called at that point with Gideon I get a phone call with Gideon but just an email with Conrad funny. okay here's my pan I'm just gonna spray it get this on here hopefully this tastes good If not, good thing it's for the children. You don't got taste buds right. And now we push. 
It won't break my spinach is right. We'll see how these taste. I've tried the baked ones before too. Those are good as well. There's like the copycat crispy, um, what is it? The onion, oh not onion, <laughs> wow. Um, Nature Valley, like the crispy ones, you know. Oat and honey, I think that's what I'm thinking of. And then this should harden up. My biggest concern is that when you cut it, it stays in the shape of a granola bar, you know? Because sometimes you do this and then it's just like, it crumbles, it doesn't stay that, that shape, you know? And these are very versatile, like you could put raisins in this, you could put coconut in this, you could put chia seeds or flax seeds in here to make it a little extra protein. You could do some kind of nut butter instead of peanut butter if you want. There we go. Does it say to put it in the fridge? Oh, it's supposed to add cinnamon. I did not add cinnamon. Uh, but I put the store in the refrigerator. Okay, let's go put this in the fridge. I'll be back. All right, I'm gonna put that out in my garage fridge there. All right, well, look at that. We got three snacks made for the children. Got popcorn. Um, what else did I make? Pudding. And then granola bars. I think that'll be nice. And then I still got some cheese that's left. When you try older things, I think Steve1989, he does old MRE videos. Oh, that sounds fun. PB and honey on toast. Oh, that's so good. Oh, you made cupcakes for the kids. That's awesome. Crystal says, I recently made banana blueberry and raisin oatmeal breakfast cookies, and they turned out perfect. You definitely should try them. Crystal, send me the recipe. That does sound good. Yes, honey, peanut butter on toast is good. That is good. The game over had me cracking up. I wasn't expecting that. Well, I'm trying to up my editing game a little bit, so that was kind of... I was going through the sounds to get the, um, they have like free sounds that you can download. So the typing and the popping is part of the soundtrack that's free that you can download. So I was going through there looking for the typewriter one for when I put the information on the screen. And then I heard the game over. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of fun. And then when I was saying, or you could die, I was like, oh, that would be a good time to put the game over one. I thought it was funny. Yeah, I'll spruce it up a bit. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Erin. I thought it was funny too. Uh. Can your kids bring that to school with the peanut butter? Yeah, I haven't heard any um, any restrictions towards the peanut butter. And even on the school lunch, they have apples and peanut butter served. It says peanut butter too. It doesn't say nut butter. So I'm guessing peanut butter is okay. It's a smaller school. So I don't know if that has something to do with it. Oh, you just got powdered sugar all over your kitchen. You would more likely you would more likely to get botulism from improperly canned raw carrots than the raw carrots themselves. Oh, good to know, Melinda. I noticed the different kinds of honey, but I really like the Ray honey. It tastes better and doesn't have the added sugar in it. Like, why do you need to add sugar to honey? That's all. That's all honey is is sugar, right? <laughs> and I like doing some chia on flax seeds instead of chocolate chips. I put M and M's. Ooh, that's a good idea. What are you making for dinner? I don't know. I have some different meats thawed. I have a flink steak. It's like a tiny one though. I was thinking about maybe making like some beef and broccoli with that. Um, I have some boneless pork ribs thawed. I was going to add those to my flinked steak or no, my flinked spare ribs that I made the other day, but then I realized those were pork ribs. So I have those, which probably need to be cooked, like baked maybe at a low temperature and then broiled or something. And then I have some thin pork chops. I'll probably do the pork chops tonight. Oh, I also thought some beef fajita and peppers mixed with it. So 
I saw a chicken fajita soup that looked really good. And I was like, oh, I could do that with the beef and make like a beef fajita soup. But family doesn't really like soup that much. I don't know. My family's weird. They do not do soup. Like yesterday when we were sick, I made some, threw together some chicken noodle soup. And they're just like, I don't want soup. I'm like, why? It's so good. I don't know. Weird family. They must have got that from husband. So yeah, maybe I'll do the pork chops. That sounds pretty good. I could bake them and do um, baked chops. I got some rice. Remember I told you guys, tell me to make rice. I could do rice or I could do like a sheet pan dinner maybe. That sounds good. I got potatoes, veggies. I got frozen broccoli, frozen Brussels sprouts. Um, I have, oh, I still have one of those. Um, that's what I'm going to do. I have a Thing I got from my friend that has like Brussels sprouts, sweet potatoes. I think it's like a mixture of veggies that you just put on a sheet pan and bake. So I might do that too. Granulated sugar changes the consistency since it's slightly different sugar and crystallizes easier. Oh, that makes sense. Ooh, Crystal's making turkey burgers with cheesy broccoli. Oh, that sounds good. Hey, Jupiter. Cookies do sound good. We still got some of the strawberry brownie left over. Yeah, that went well. Oh, I also printed out a bunch of recipes. I'm going to be trying to do a coffee episode. Oh, I got it wet. Dang it. Um, I'm going to try and do a coffee episode. So I got like a coffee rub that I was going to do on a pork tenderloin in the crock pot because after the rub, if you give it a good rub and you got some barbecue sauce. So coffee barbecue sauce with a coffee rubbed pork loin sounds pretty good. And then red eye gravy for breakfast. I just got all these in my room. I got chewy espresso chocolate chip cookies. Coffee brownies. Yeah. I was on Pinterest. <laughs> uh, whipped coffee. Has anybody tried the whipped coffee? Like, I think that sounds good. And I got some instant coffee. Ooh, here's a coffee smoothie. I figured that would go well. And then coffee jelly. Has any of you guys heard of that? Like you, you turn it like the, you take coffee, mix it with gelatin, turn it into a jelly, and then you cut it up like cubes, and then you put it in the cup, and then you pour your cream or your milk over it. It says one can of table cream. I'm not sure what table cream is. And then one can of condensed milk. I figured instead of using table cream, I could probably just use half and half or something. But I think that sounds that sounds nice. I mean, how can I not be doing a coffee episode? You know what I'm saying? So, printed off some coffee re recipes. Oh, pink says pork chops and applesauce. That sounds good. My family doesn't eat too much soup either. Just chicken noodle and a few eat bean soup. I love soup. I love soup too. Mm -hmm. I know Jessica at Three Rivers, she does every Sunday, she does leftover soup where... Anything in the fridge that's left over, she just chucks it into a soup. And I'm so jealous that her family will eat that. I'm like, my husband, he's picky about the soups. Um, he's not really picky about anything else I cook, but soup, it has to be like um, a potato soup, ham and potato. You know, something that's not weird with a bunch of random stuff. It's just got to be, considering I make a bunch of random stuff with random ingredients, he doesn't like random soups. So that's interesting. Just thought about that because I make some random stuff. You see that pizza the other day? I was like, I don't know how this is going to go over. I didn't know how it was going to taste. I was like, let's just see what happens. And it turned out really good. The kids ate it. Um, Gideon had two pieces. They love the salad. My kids love salad. I need to make it more for them. They love that salad. So it went over really well. I was pleasantly surprised at that. So plus I've never made a... Um, a pesto sauce before like I was going to do the white white garlic and then I was like ooh, I can just do bacon and then add my pesto because it was really garlicky and it turned out fantastic I love honey but I feel honey is sweet enough without the added sugar it's hard to get and find around here the raw honey yes um I agree the raw honey is really hard to find and if you pay like when you pay for it you pay for it it's expensive so when I found that jug five, like a five gallon bucket of honey I was like sold husband's like we're not even moved into our house yet I'm like I don't care we need this and it was just a local farmer he had a bee farmer and he was selling his honey and because you bought it in bulk you got a better price for it and I'm so glad that I did I don't have to worry about honey um we eventually would like our own bees and do that 
probably whenever we get our own um our own homestead you had me a coffee smoothie right you want me to read you what it says the coffee jelly looked really interesting i think i'm going to use that one for my thumbnail because it just you should look up coffee jelly on pinterest we'll see a picture of it let's see coffee oh coffee rub uh here's the smoothie so quarter cup of milk three quarter cups of coffee chilled one frozen banana quarter cup of rolled oats tablespoon of cocoa powder cacao cacao cocoa outside cocoa powder a tablespoon of hemp seeds a teaspoon of vanilla and then ice that sounds pretty good if the smoothie is too thick add more liquid milk or coffee yeah i mean that's perfect for me so we'll do a coffee smoothie the only thing i've made with coffee is tiramisu and coffee cake ah oh. yeah you could like i don't i think it's um underestimated how much coffee or how how much coffee <laughs> what you can do with coffee what i'm trying to say kathleen says yes all things coffee iced coffee drinks would be cool too mm -hmm. coffee gummies yeah creative Lynn. they're kind of that's what they would kind of be like is like coffee jello that's weird right try serving the soup over mashed potatoes or rice see if you'll eat it like a meal oh that's better that pizza looked delicious oh i'm glad you think it was really good i was like that was a very green pizza because it had the artichokes on it but i got that pesto out of my fridge, I got the artichoke out of my fridge, I got that bacon out of my fridge. So I think it worked out. It tasted good. Ooh, chocolate covered coffee beans. They're so good. Homemade Salisbury steak, mashed potatoes. Is that green beans and brown mushroom gravy? Oh, Laura, I'm gonna come over to your house for dinner. That sounds so good. Mushroom gravy with Salisbury steak. Oh, I was thinking about Salisbury steak the other day. Yeah, internet person, what time is dinner, Laura? We invited, that's what I'm saying. No one in my house eats soup either, except me. Right? I don't get it. Like, soup's so good. Like, that's why I had to eat that canned soup last time, because like, nobody eats soup around here. So I'm like, fine, I'll eat it. They're like, good. I'm like, good. <laughs> hey, Melissa, happy Valentine's Day. Amara, hello, how are you? Just looked it up. Half and half will work for table cream. Awesome. Thank you, Missy. I appreciate that. Definitely a coffee episode would be great. All right, that's that's the next on my list. I have one dinner that I'm working on now that was a bunch of older dinners that before I even did my pantry challenge, I just had them, like editing is the worst part. I can film all day long, but the editing is takes the longest. So I'm gonna throw that in there and it'll be like a couple of dinners that I have made throughout that time. And then I have all the meals that I've been cooking for like the last week and a half. I have that coming in after that. And then I have this coffee, which I don't know, I'm going to get the coffee sooner, so we'll see. I'm trying to do, like, some cooking, because I only go to the food bank once a week, so I got to do stuff in between that. I would also like to go to some local stores and do, like, a tour of local stores in Montana, because they have, like, Montana, um, Montana Goods Store, where it's all local artists sell their stuff locally, and it's, um, so it's, it's like a gift shop, I guess, of Montana stuff. I thought that would be fun to go look and see some of that. Oh, hey, Tammy, welcome. How are you? I haven't seen you in a bit. Oh, no, Angela said she got disconnected and missed everything. I'm sorry. We made some popcorn, some pudding, granola bars. I almost made a big mess in the bowl. Very typical. Denise, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? Nothing. We don't really celebrate Valentine's Day. I consider it more of like a Hallmark holiday. They're like, it's, I feel like it's overrated. I understand like, yes, love and stuff, but it's like people expect too much, I feel. And as being a former line cook, Valentine's Day sucks. <laughs> Valentine's Day and Mother's Day are the worst. So I've always had to work and it's always crazy on Valentine's Day. So I don't know, we'll just hang out here. We're not really doing anything particular. I do have steaks and lobster to cook, so we're going to be doing that. Um, but yeah, so that should be good. Oh, I forgot. I, actually, I got that video. I got to edit, too. Oh, so much to edit. But the kids are excited, and they love, love day. Oh, you should do a Huckleberry video. That's a great idea, Aaron. Huckleberries are so expensive, though. Oh, my gosh. It's like for a gallon bag, it's like 50 or 60 bucks. Oh, my gosh. So much. What I really want to do is go forge for some and um, find my own. Morel mushrooms, too. Would you ever do that, Erin? 
I haven't done that yet since being here. Oh, you're having a great day, Tammy. I'm so glad. You should treat your loved ones specials every day. You should, Pink. You really never know. We will be visiting Montana this summer. I'll be stocking up on huckleberries. They're so good. It's kind of like a blueberry, but they're just different. And they got like purple. I love huckleberry too. Um, one of the things I got to review is a snow cone maker. And I'm like, man, I could totally have my own snow cone business. There's no snow cones around here. I could set up a stand at the farmer's market. We could be like huckleberry queens or Mount Snow. I don't know. I'm working on the name. I like Huckleberry as a name because it's a Montana thing, but I like Mount Snow. I think that sounds fun. Hey, do you think Mount Snow is going to be there? Oh, I love Mount Snow. But who's got time for a snow cone stand, you know? First time making Salisbury steak. His mother didn't cook. He was telling me about the frozen ones. Ooh. Well, I think he'll appreciate the homemade ones. I agree with the Hallmark holiday. I believe you should just show love every day. Yeah. And you know everything's overpriced for Valentine's Day. I don't know if I don't know if this is just an American thing where everything's about consumerism, right? Uh, buying for the next holiday, like Easter stuff's probably already out now, you know. And it's just candy and gifts and more crap that you need that you need, and that if you don't get for your loved one, then you don't love them. I don't know. I've just never really been into that. Um, Husband's not into that either, so that's good. It took him six years to remember my birthday, and I'm okay with that. He's not good with numbers, you know, so <laughs> he's not good with dates. I'm okay with that. He still doesn't know the kid's birthdays. I had to tell him, you know. I don't know. Some women get really upset about that stuff. I don't, you know. I just I get upset about if you treat me wrong, not if you don't give me flowers on Valentine's Day, you know. Oh, I already haven't forged yet either. Oh, it's Ooh, Chinese food. That sounds so good. Mount Baird snow cones. Oh, I like that. Belinda, hello. You made it. I had never had mushrooms that you hunt for, but love mushrooms. I stock up on canned mushrooms. I stock up on canned mushrooms too. When I got Wick, when the kids were still young enough, you could start getting canned veggies with it. And I bought the mushrooms and I stocked up on canned mushrooms because those are my absolute favorite. But yeah, I would love to go hunting here. I actually got a mushroom. Oh, let me go get it. I see it. I was thinking of something and I actually could see where it was. So this is one thing I got for myself for Christmas. It's mushroom of the Rocky Mountains, Colorado, Idaho, Montana, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming. And it has all the different mushrooms. It tells you if they're edible or not. It gives you information about them. The one on the back too. So this was fun like because we have mushrooms that grow in our yard. Right here, these shaggy manes. These are definitely the ones that grow in our yard. And I was like, oh, we could probably eat those, but I was just nervous. I don't get nervous about much, but mushrooms I'm a bit nervous about. So I'm like, oh, so this made me a little more comfortable being able to see what mushrooms you can eat, which you can. I thought it was fun. So this would be, um, sorry, now I'm, now I'm reading. <laughs> so that's fun. So that will probably help a lot with the um, forging of the mushrooms, you know. Valentine's Day, in my opinion, is a post-Christmas retail boost. Yes, it's just, it's all about how much money can you spend? How much, you know, stuff can you get for your loved ones? I don't know. I don't want to make it like that. And I know my mom, you know, she she did a Valentine's Day with us. Got us something, got us a card, got us a stuffed animal, got us a treat. I don't know. She made a big deal about it. But I just remember it never being that big of a deal. My mom was into holidays. My dad wasn't. So I kind of got mixed reviews on both, you know, and I probably got more towards my dad's side of the attitude towards the holidays of just, eh, it's no big deal. My husband and I were talking, we don't even, like Gideon was saying, dad, dad, we didn't get anything for your birthday, like no gifts. And he's like, that's okay, buddy. And I love that because we don't, I don't get him anything for his birthday. He doesn't get me anything for my birthday. Um, we don't get anything for our anniversary. We don't get each other gifts for that. We usually go out to dinner. Um, and then we do Christmas and we'll give each other two or three things each. Like, I don't know. It's, that's not the emphasis of our relationship is what can we give to each other? Like material wise, you know, it's what do we give to each other? You know, support, love, understanding, compassion. That's what you want from somebody, you know? And yeah, you should be getting that all year long from the people you love. You should have that expectation of it, you know, but you got to give it as well. 
you know, there's times that it's, they need it more than you, you know, you can't just both lose it at the same time is what they always say. <laughs> that would be a good video, pickly, picking cuckleberries. Oh, that would be a good video. Hey, Debbie, how are you? You just hunt for morels. Mm, they're so good. I hear morels grow in like burnt parts. So like where there was a fire the year before, the next year is when the morels are going to grow. So you're kind of looking for um, fires that happen before is where they tend to grow. Is what I've heard. I don't know for sure. I didn't look it up or anything. Kelly says, one of my kids were kids, did all the holidays. Now, decades later, sometimes they don't even do any holidays anymore, except for sending out gifts. Yeah, I'm horrible about gifts. I don't even give, I don't know. I don't give gifts to people. <laughs> I mean, I just like, if it's like a birthday or something, you know, but I'm just, I'm not a big gift giver. That's not my love language. You know, I, it's just not, I like words of affirmation. I love physical touch, things like that, you know. Maybe there's a local mushroom hunting group near you. There probably is. I bet I can join. Um, they probably have in the Facebook group. They also have classes at the community college that adults can take that you can go out and they'll like teach you about um, the wildlife and stuff. So that would be fun to do. I don't know what morels taste like. Honestly, Crystal, I hear they're the best, but I actually haven't had one before. Oops, sorry, everything's fine. Tony says, my son went to our Kroger. They had Christmas, Easter, and Valentine's candy out before Christmas. See? See, now they're just like, just put every holiday up so anybody can get whatever they want when they want, you know. St. Patrick's Day is coming up next. I don't see much. I see a few things for that, but that's my birthday. Hey, Manny. On St. Patrick's Day, so that's always fun. I always try and get some green beer if I can. I hated it, having a birthday on St. Patrick's Day when I was little. Because my mom, you know, she's into all of the, the Hallmark stuff. So it was always St. Patrick's Day themed. Green this, green that. I hated it. I was like, Mom, I'm more than what a day I was born on, you know. So now I'm all about that green beer, though. I guess beer is probably my favorite. We always like to pop out after it rains and it's warm out. Okay. I agree with the gift giving. Yeah. So I'm sure some people take offense that I don't give gifts and stuff, but... I don't know. It's just, I like to do words. I like to tell people how they make me feel. I like to make them feel appreciative that way, you know, because things are just things to me. I don't, I guess I don't see things with the value, you know, I don't know. I guess that's weird. I'm weird. All right, guys, well, we got a couple more minutes and then I'm going to wrap this up. So if you have last minute questions or requests, let me bag up some of this popcorn. I'm just going to do Ziploc bags. Nanny says she was cooking and didn't hear her phone. Nanny, how dare you not be aware of what I'm doing at all times? I am offended. <laughs> how are the kids doing in the new school? Oh, they're doing great. They love it. Uh, I would rather help when I can cook with home repair or cook something. Oh, yes, I agree, Debbie. Like, well, I can, you know, if I go over to my friends, I'll help them clean or something if they're cleaning, you know, and do little things like that that is helpful and let, not less of more junk in their house, you know. Just so many people, there's just so much stuff. I don't know. And then you feel obligated to keep all the gifts that people give you, which I don't always feel obligated to keep gifts. I'm like, if it's clutter, then, you know, I'll be like, thanks, but... I don't know. I guess that's rude. My dad always said, um, is that rude? I don't know. My dad always said, if you don't want it, just get rid of it. If you don't want it, sell it. So now if I have something and I don't want it, I get rid of it, you know. That's just how I was raised. And apparently that's not the way you're supposed to do it. <laughs> you're supposed to give the gift back or keep it forever. I'm just like, why? I don't get that. I don't get, I don't get socialism, socialize things, I guess, requirements to be proper social person <laughs> well, I just feel like I'm different you know I have a different breed but you just find your people you know you put yourself out there and that opens the door for other people to be themselves and to be the same they'll be well I think they'll go good little snack for the kiddos and then lunch they love popcorn too and now they get to be like, oh, the kids at school, they brought this. Like, they're noticing what other kids bring in their lunches, you know, or they'll be like, oh, I was the only one who had this. Cool. If 
food is a love language, so I just make my hubby favorite breakfast. Yes, my food's my love language too. Like if I'm coming over, I bring food. I'll bring some kind of food. Like if I like it, I'll feed you. If I don't like it, I don't feed you. <laughs> the other day, husband said kind of, some kind of joke, and I usually make his lunch for him, but it was like a crazy morning, and I didn't have his lunch made, so I was letting him know that he didn't have a lunch made. But he told me a joke, and I'm just like, <laughs> so you're not getting a lunch today? He's like, was my joke that bad? <laughs> laugh so hard. I was like, oh, oh no, no. <laughs> I didn't mean to say your joke wasn't good. Oh my gosh, it was funny. I don't give gifts all the time. They clutter up the house. I do give the gifts of homemade treats. Yeah, see, homemade treats. I would rather someone come help me instead of sending my kid more things to keep track of. Yes. Gifts are forgotten years later. Your love is never forgotten. Well, good. I'm glad you guys agree. Your house, your rules, yeah. Have you ever thought of meat rabbits? Yes, Dolly, that's um, something that we wanna do when we have our homestead, we're gonna raise rabbits. Um, but it's just not something we can do quite yet. But we tried having rabbits in Missouri, but we were just too busy for it. So we ended up getting rid of them. But that is def definitely something that um, I want to get into eventually. Debbie says, did the kids make Valentine's boxes? What were they? They're making them today in school. So we'll see what they are when they get home. My mom tried to give me back a gift I got her last year. Whoops. <laughs> like, is that, I feel like that's ruder to give a gift back than, than just to accept it and then on the sly get rid of it, you know, or re-gift it. I don't know, though. Like I said, I'm not raised in proper etiquette, so <laughs> I always pack my hubby's lunch for him as well. Yeah, like, if I don't, then he'll just spend money on buying food out. So it ultimately just saves us money for me to pack his lunch, you know. Kathleen says, I was a working poor mom and everyone at my daughter's school thought she had the best lunches and all the kids tried to eat her food. It's not how much money you have, but what you do with it. Thank you, Kathleen. That was beautifully said. And it's so true. Like if I have home baked goods or homemade goods that I'm sending them with, you know, sometimes that's better than the school lunches. You don't know. It's, you know, kids, I don't know. You do what's best for you and anybody else, they just deal with it. You know, be like, well, either you like it or you don't. You can listen to me or you cannot, right? Well, I'm going to head out though, guys. Thanks for spending some time with me this afternoon. This was a fun live. I got some snacks made for the kids. Popcorns is probably enough for two days. I'll get a couple more bags out of it. So that's nice. Uh, we got those granola bars. Oh, let me go bring those out real quick before I let you go. Here's our granola bars for those who missed it. We made granola bars and um, popcorn, and then I made some instant pudding for the kids' lunches. See, I think the kids will be like, oh, you got pudding, you know? It's look pretty good. Once they set, the oats will absorb some of that. Mmm, look pretty good. I think it'll go over well. A little sticky though. I gave my daughter the steaks I had in my deep freezer. This is her and a boyfriend since they said they haven't had it in a while. Aww. See, it's things like that. Giving the gift of food. School lunches are not what they used to be. Nope, that's for sure. Oh, good. I'm glad you guys had fun. I had fun, too. This was nice. I like hanging out with you. Heartstrike is having a V-Day sale. Use my link below. I don't have a link below. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, guys, you have a good day. Thank you for spending your Valentine's Day with me. Happy Valentine's Day. I love all of you. Thanks for all your love and support. I really feel it. I feel the love. I appreciate it. Kids remember what we make with them. I agree, Jamie. Or like how many times you're like, oh, my mom used to make this and it was so good. Like those things stay with you, you know, and that matters more than what you give your gifts. It's like, gift wise, you give them memories versus gifts, you know, and that's, that's not easy for everybody. So, but yes, bye everybody. Thanks for being here. I hope you have a fantastic day and hopefully I'll catch you on the next live. I'll be here Saturday night. So I'll see you then. You guys have a great day and I'll catch you next time on Mama Bear's.